Hello and welcome to Hacker Heap. In this video, we will solve the problem search insert position. Before we start, please do like and subscribe the channel Hacker Heap. Okay, let's go through the problem. Says given a sorted array and a target value, written the index if the target is found. If not, written the index where it would be if it were inserted in order. So it's pretty straightforward and easy problem. So for this example, we find uh, 5 at index 2 so we have to return 2 if we don't find the index we need to know where it can be so it should be like somewhere here so we need to re return 1 and similarly here the index should be 4 and we need to return 4 there are two types to do it one is the linear way since it is a sorted array we will check if the element is greater than the given target let's take in this example one three five six if we will pass through all the elements if the element is equal to the target we would return that particular index if the element nums of i is greater than the target we would return i minus one or i depending on where we found it this will take a linear time of n time we can do it better by using binary search so we will do this operation using binary search so similarly for the same example one three five six we would find a mid which would be two and then it is greater than the given target two so we will change the right index to 3 and we will continue the loop until left less than or equal to right and once we are if we check like if nums of a mid is equal to target uh, we would just return the mid index if it is out of the loop we will return the left index let's go ahead and code it out the left is 0 in the starting and int right is equal to nums dot length minus one in the static. So while while left less than or equal to right, all we need to do is we need to find mid or the pivot in mid is equal to left plus. minus left by 2 let's say if the array is too big we don't want to go out of the bound so that is the reason uh, we will use this instead of using left plus right by 2 now we will check if of mid is equal to target what we need to do is return mid index if nums of mid less than the target left left we need to change the left index to mid plus one mid plus one all right if nums of mid greater than the target we need to change the right index to mid minus one that's all we need to do and if there is no element exists at this point when left is less than or equal to right all we need to do is return the left index return left so let's trace this out so for let's take the example the same example uh, initial input one three five six and the target is two so we come here and the mid would be zero plus length minus one by two that is a three by two which is one so the mid index is one so we will check uh, if mid is equal to target it's not if mid is less than the target which is not and if mid greater than target and we will do like right is equal to mid minus one so now the right index would be mid minus one which is zero now the left and right are is equal to zero so what we do is if left less than or equal to right we will go here we will check the mid element which is uh, zero we will check 
if it is equal to the target which is not because one is not equal to two and we will check if uh, nums of mid less than the target that's true and we will do mid plus one now the left index is equal to one and right index is equal to zero and what happens here is uh, we will exit out the, the loop because left is not less than the right in this case and we will return the left index where the two should be so that is how we achieve it in a login time uh, using binary search instead of doing it in a linear time where the time complexity is order of n let's go ahead and uh, run this out so it's pretty straightforward i hope uh, it's clear please do like and subscribe to this channel